Good morning, everybody. Come along for the ride. Well, as some of you know, um, there's not a whole lot going on in the winter. So I, I struggle to find content for you guys in the middle of winter. I do have a secret project I'm working on, but I can't unveil that right now or film it currently. Um, in due time, I will show you guys what it is, um, but right now I can't. Um, but what I'm doing today is I am wrapping up our bikes. They're pretty much ready to go. If we were to leave right now on the bikes, they're fine. They'll go. Um, what I did with my bike is my bike's an ultra limited and uh, people hardly people who know ultra limiteds know they have these open spaces right here um i'm not a huge fan of that look i have been searching around for uh, they make filler lights for there and i've been searching around finding some that i like that i don't want to spend an arm and a leg on um Seems like the ones that I like cost a stupid amount of money that I'm not willing to dump into this just as an auxiliary light because of the fact that I don't keep my bikes long enough to dump a lot of money into them. But, however, I did find these lights and... I really kind of think they're going to be junk, but uh, I found them on Amazon. They're just, they were $99. And I'm like, you know what? For $99, bucks, i am willing to try them. Because, yeah, sometimes you get some junk, sometimes you get some good stuff. But, as usual, the shit you buy off of Amazon, I should say the crap you buy off Amazon, sorry, Scooter, does not come with instructions. So I've got to pull the saddlebags off and figure out how this goes together. So yeah. And I just started the wood burning stove in here so it's still a little on the chilly side. You know, because it's 10 degrees outside because it's Michigan. But on the plus side, in four days we're leaving for our February trip where we load the bikes up we head south till we hit sunny and 70 degrees, unload the motorcycles, and we ride for 10 days. I have to admit, this is not as hard as I thought it'd be. Um, it comes with a splitter wire, a, you know, a junction wire. Um, the hardest part is routing the wire between the frame and the fender. But it connects under the seat right here. There's a Y deal that goes in there, and I ran it down in between here, the frame, frame and the fender, and brought it out right here. And I'm going to show you guys. Um, it hooks up to, there's two bolts that hold your exhaust and your fender strut. And it, those two holes right there go into those two bolts right here. So this whole thing slides in this way. Maybe. I just had it in there. There we go. Um, and then you put the nuts here to hold it in place. There's 3M tape up here. And you can see there's the light. Now I'm going to plug them in and turn the bike on just to make sure I have the right going to the right and the left going to the left or left, this side, right, that side. Um, and then that way we can, you can see what they look like before I actually install them. All right, the moment of truth. They're on. See them right there? Now let's see if blinkers and brakes and turn the right blinker on. How 
did I get that right? Let's turn the left one on. Not bad. Break. I'm gonna I'm gonna use you guys as a mirror. Hang on. If my legs long enough. Yeah, that works. Cool. Let's see if both brakes work. Nice. Not bad for 99 bucks. I'm kind of impressed. So now what we got to do is we have to... I have to finish this up and route the wires properly, get them fastened up. I gotta get those fastened up here. That way they don't interfere with the um, wheel or the pulley or shocks or anything like that. Um, because with my luck, I'll hit a big bump, it'll go down, get caught in something, tear the wires out. That seems to be my, my luck. But, Let's work on getting that wrapped up now. One thing I did notice about this particular light setup, um, this plug right here, these two plugs that go together, um, they don't have any rubber O-rings or anything inside the plug. And because it's going to be up underneath the fender, right near the water and or right near the wheel, and we do get caught in the rain riding. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy some of that electrical grease and put in that connection just to prevent, to help prevent any water going in there and corrosion starting. And hopefully it'll make these plugs last a little longer. Um, but other than that, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprisingly impressed with it. Uh, I did notice that the connection under the seat didn't have uh, the o-rings around it also so I think I'm going to throw a little of that electrical grease in there as well um, because riding in the rain I mean you get moisture up underneath the seat you get it everywhere so just as a precaution I'm going to add a little electrical grease in there so but I don't have any around here so I'm gonna have to run and pick some up all right, so I got my dielectrical grease. Uh, what I'm gonna do is put that in the connection just to help waterproof the, the seal and everything to help prevent uh, corrosion from building up on there. But while I was at Gilroy's getting this, I'm sitting there, I'm looking at the stuff and I'm like, yeah, that's what I need and I'm reading it. And all of a sudden, next dial over, I heard this horrendous fart. I mean, I heard bubbles coming out of it. So I like peeked my head around the corner and the guy standing down the aisle there, he kind of looked up at me and his buddy kind of smiled and I went, are you okay? And the, his buddy started laughing and he kind of chuckled and he goes, yeah, I'm fine. I'm like, now you are right. And then his buddy like started really laughing i'm like you better check that out because i mean that sounded like it's gonna itch later and at that point his buddy is bent over holding his gut laughing and the dude is like red in the face and i'm like okay have a great day and i checked out of there before the smell hit me because i can only imagine what that thing was going to smell like holy crap
Okay, we got her all back together. I'll show you what it looks like with it off first. Added those lights right there and right there. So let's turn it on. You can see what it looks like. I just got a text message. Um, we'll turn the hazards on. I think I'm going to like those. They don't look too bad. Um, I was very surprised how cheap they were. I paid $99 for them on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'm going to be happy with them. Now we'll see what the longevity of them is. Um, but overall, I don't dislike them. I'll give you that. Now I need to clean my saddlebags out because um, we're getting ready to go on that big trip and I like to clean the unnecessary crap out of my saddlebags that accumulate over the year. Uh, get those cleaned out. And then... The wife's bike, I have to put on her mid, mid frame air deflectors is what they call them. It's heat shields is what it is. They go right here. There's a heat shield. In fact, I have them on my bike. It's those right there. So that, that helps with the heat of the motor on the inner thighs of your legs. Uh, we add them to every one of our motorcycles, so um, this bike is new enough, we just haven't put them on this bike yet. So I'm going to clean my saddlebags out and get this bike off the lift and work on getting her bike on the lift and get those things on there. So thanks for watching.